Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Amy. And this is our dog, Jagger. We left our beautiful home in Maui and built ourselves a home on wheels. And now we would like to invite you to join us as we drive from California to Panama. Previously on the Traveling Together Journal, we make our way down the Pacific coast of Mexico to Puerto Escondido, where we experience Mexican Independence Day and some fun surf. All right, we left our hotel at La Punta in Puerto Escondido. And we just finished stocking up on groceries and we are headed for Barra de la Cruz, a couple hours south of us. We're in Barra de la Cruz and we've uh, decided to get a cabina because you have to pay to get into the beach and it's at least a 15 minute walk all the way to the beach and it's pretty hilly and it's just so hot right now you guys it's like humid and hot carrying your surfboards and a backpack full of all of your food and things you'd need for a day at the beach and a surf um you would pretty much like be stuck there during the day because <laughs> you wouldn't want to walk back through that uh, so we want to be able to drive and once we set up camp it's hard to like leave with the truck because we have the awning stretched out and then like all of our boxes are unpacked and then we have another dilemma and it's the dog you are not supposed to have dogs at the beach there's a lot of signs so uh, we want to have an area for him to be able to hang out if we decide to leave him here Everybody loves the beach bungalow until it rains and leaks all over you. So Matt's setting up the tarp over the bed and also just in general like when we she showed us the room it hadn't been clean and there was lizard poop all over the beds. So this way it helps us from rolling around in gecko poop. So we've been hearing this sound and I'm like what is that beeping? And I looked on top of the thing that the beeping is coming from, and I saw that it had this little tiny solar panel. And then I thought, I'm gonna look in here. And there's an inverter. So. You want me to unplug it? Yeah. And as soon as Matt unplugs the refrigerator, it stops beeping. So I don't think that we can run our refrigerator. We're gonna have to plug in our own solar, which is just a lot of work uh, to put the panels away, but it's obviously doable because that little tiny panel is not gonna supply, especially with these clouds enough power to run our fridge. So why did we leave Barra de la Cruz so suddenly? Well, I really wanted to go there in the first place because I've seen like videos and stuff just like probably everyone else who's there that where it just looks like really good. Um, and so even though I knew it was going to be a bit more crowded than some of the other places we've been, I... Just pause! Look at all those goats! Look at all those goats! Okay. <laughs> it's just not ideal conditions right now, and it was crowded, so basically like the quality of the wave, the way I was getting to experience it was not worth how crowded it was to me. Yeah. So we are now driving south again, um, headed towards an unknown at this moment beach and wave. We ended up camping at the Blue Rock restaurant at Playa Concepcion La Bamba, 
We were allowed to camp there and use the facilities as long as we came over and ate a meal. The owner ended up being a really nice guy who would come over often just to chat about fishing and living in Mexico. The Virgin Beach off to the west of their restaurant had a narrow estuary full of rosette spoonbills and white egrets. It was a beautiful place for a long beach walk. Those mountains in the background are all sand dunes. Just east of camp, we could walk to this nice right-hander breaking off of a jetty. We could get a few waves early in the morning since we were camping right on the spot, but then by mid-morning, a good crowd would roll in. After a few days of crowded surf and incessant biting sand fleas, we decided it was time to move on. And we broke camp, drove around for a while trying to find some surf, and ended up here. And uh, it looks like there's a wave out there, hoping it'll be nice and clean in the morning. Did we ever get the name of the place we were just camped for a couple nights? Definitely did at some point. I don't remember right now. Sand Flea Beach? Could have been, uh, yeah. Muchas gentes. Playa de not on your ankles. <laughs> <laughs> so that was kind of our pivot point. Uh, so for the south, we were planning on going and we went around the corner looking for another spot and didn't really find anything but a fishing village. And then we started heading back north or back at least like along the highway 200 and ended up checking out this spot that does seem to have another wave and we found ourselves a really cool hopefully safe and free camping spot this is jagger's friend he comes and visits every morning and every evening we don't know his name we call him fast paws because he runs really fast in huge circles. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Matt's getting ready for a morning surf. It's a beautiful sunrise out. And we are at Playa Mahon. And it is probably one of the nicest camping situations we've had since we left the ranch. I'm always coming out here too late to catch Matt getting any really great waves. made it clear that I really love our Lifesaver Jerry Can. Uh, it filters all the water that we drink, uh, all the water Jagger drinks, and we happen to use it to just do dishes because of the spout. It's really easy. Um, so the last couple places we got water though, it's been weird. Um, we got some well water from a well that was kind of like an open well. There was some boards over the top of it. So there was like a little bit of debris and stuff in there. So I'm drinking it, but every time I'm drinking it, I'm like, man, I really hope I don't get sick. Uh, and then just trying to like have faith that the filter was good because we haven't gotten sick yet. But it just didn't taste very good. So Matt tasted it and he's like, oh man, I should have waited a couple hours longer to like make sure you weren't getting sick. So we kind of like switched to beer and uh, waited to see if I would get sick before we gave it to the dog or Matt had any, but all was well. Um, I never got sick, still haven't. And then we ran out of that because we didn't have very much of that left. So then we go to the hotel here in Mahone, 
to get water because the guy said it was fine and it was out of like a you know a spigot you'd put a hose up to at the hotel and we bring it back and put it in our filter and all through the night I'm just like man this water tastes even worse it tastes salty uh, which is not really good for our filter if it's salty and that salty taste kind of resembles the taste that was at the was the well water so I don't know what's going on but uh, it rained like early this morning and it's still raining a little bit so we put our jerry can underneath the drip of the awning it was going way better earlier now it's just dripping uh to hopefully collect some water that doesn't taste like salt uh, and it's making my coffee taste salty too so um kind of grumpy this morning Donuts on the beach. <laughs> well, our free camping spot is no longer free since our water situation was completely impalatable uh, and unacceptable. Uh, so, yeah, basically the water tastes really salty and I'm a little concerned that it could eventually clog uh, the filter of our really amazing water jug. So I went to the hotel and purchased some awful little plastic bottles of water to get us through the day, but it's expensive. Like, I mean, we could just be basically at a campground paying to be there with toilets and showers and water uh, for what I just spent on eight horrible plastic bottles of water. So, uh, yeah. I think we were planning on maybe leaving tomorrow anyways, uh, but I think now we're more likely to do it. We're going to run out of fresh vegetables soon, too. Next time on the Traveling Together Journal, we head to San Agustin Hualtulco and find out that this little developing tourist town has most of its hustle and bustle going on underneath the water. Thank you, Jen Leo, from This Week in Travel podcast for buying us a round of beers. We also had the pleasure of speaking with Chris and Jen from This Week in Travel podcast. If you would like to listen to that, head down to the description box for a link to the podcast. If you would like to learn more about how you can contribute to helping to support this content, click here.